Hello, second grade, Mr. Mush here. So we are beginning our trip around the world. Well, we're not really, really leaving anywhere because we're starting in the United States with Grant Wood and learning about farms and space. All right, so here's my example right here. All right, and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on pattern and space, okay? Because look at the barn back there. It's really tiny, right? Okay. But we know barns would probably be bigger than a cow, right? But the cow looks like almost as big as the barn, all right? So that's conveying space in the picture, right? Like we learned in first grade last year, all right? We learned about space and how things can look coming up close and far away, right? So we are gonna make our own farm today. And I'm gonna grab my piece of paper and we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna show you how to get started, all right? So. Our papers are going to be hamburger style, left to right, horizontal. I'm going to put my name in the upper right or upper left corner, excuse me. It doesn't matter what corner, just pick a corner. Okay, and flip it over. All right, so to get started, we're going to draw three hills. All right, I'm going to draw a curved line over here towards the side. I'm going to draw one, and another one, two, and then three. And if you want to do the sun peeking up over the hills, you can do a little fourth one, four. And then I'm going to draw the sun. But if you don't want to do the sun, you don't have to. Maybe the sun's over here. That's up to you. Okay? So now what you need to do is you need to come up with lines and patterns for your designs. All right? For your hills. So I want to see three different types of lines. So I'm going to do straight lines over here. I'm going to do wavy lines over here, and then I'm going to do zigzags over here, okay? Now, at the top of this hill, we're going to draw a barn, okay? Some of you might remember from first grade learning how to draw with form, all right? But I'm going to show you again in case you forget. So you're going to start with a square. And then you're going to draw a little rectangle on the side like that. Then you're going to draw a triangle right here. And then you're going to draw a line going back and then a diagonal line to connect that. And then you can draw the barn doors. Barn doors usually have X's on it. Maybe I put a window. Okay. And then I'm going to draw what is called a silo right next to it like that. I'm going to draw a curve line, a little door, and little curve lines like that. Then I'm going to draw a fence like that. I'm going to draw little X's to show that it's a fence. Okay, and we're showing space because these hills are close to us, but that's really far behind, okay? And then I want you to think about how, what is on your farm. Like, what, do you, what are you a farmer of? Okay, do you just farm animals? Do you farm um, pumpkins, apples? What do you farm? So put it on your farm. So I'm going to draw a little apple tree here like that. Put some apples in my tree. I'm gonna draw some pumpkins right here. Okay, Halloween will be here soon enough, one of my favorite holidays. Okay, I love Nightmare Before Christmas, one of my favorite movies. All right, and then maybe I'll draw some animals over here, okay? So since we did that, once you draw your animals, just erase the lines going through them. So I'm gonna draw a cow, I'm gonna draw the body, a rectangle, and his head is two circles. Two dots for the eyes, two dots for the nose, two little ears, two little horns, two, I'm gonna draw two legs. If you wanna draw four, you can. I'm gonna draw four like that. And then skinny tail, okay? And then the line going through the cow, I'll erase it. And don't forget to give your cow spots, okay? If you wanna draw a scarecrow, you can do that. Draw a head, draw the sleeves, draw the body, and then draw the stick and then the hay coming out. And usually if you draw a scarecrow, you wanna have an angry face or a scary face to scare the crows away, right? Maybe you want a tractor on your farm. Okay, I'm gonna draw like a sideways. Well, it looks like an L, okay? And then a big tire and a little tire, window, and there you go. So, this looks great, all right? It looks really good. And now you just got to color it in, all right? So when you are coloring in your hills, you can color them whatever colors you want. Doesn't matter, okay? I'm going to color this hill back here. 
I'm going to color it green. And then orange. Okay. Definitely suggest that if you have crayons without wrappers, use them because it helps make coloring go faster and it looks nice. All right. So I'm going green, orange, green, orange. Does everyone see that? I hope so. So I'm going to switch back to orange. Okay. And then the last one, green. All right. So you're going to do that for all your hills. You're going to color in your tree. Make sure you color in your sky. I'm going to make my sky orange because it's like the, the sun is coming up. Make sure you do that. Okay. And when your drawing is all done, it should look like something like this. Now, I want you to come up with your own ideas and come up with your own things and just think about how your coloring everything and your patterns remember you can use whatever colors you want if you want to use organic colors like browns yellows greens things like that you can but if you want to use other colors that is fine too but that's what we're doing for this week for our, to start our art trip around the world with grant wood and the farmlands of america all right so i hope you have fun with this project and until next time take care